New at five, a program at the Pasco County Jail turned into more than anyone ever thought possible. Inmates are actually building furniture in a woodworking shop. ABC Action News reporter Eric Waxler shows us why it's so popular. It's now expanding. When David Schmidt gets out of jail next month, he'll be able to do things he never could before. I learned how to use a lot of the machines. I mean, a lot of it I didn't know how to do. Schmidt is one of hundreds of inmates who have come through the Pasco County Sheriff's Office woodworking shop in the last five years. They build chairs, tables, cornhole boards, and flags, all from reclaimed wood. Deputy Keith Stoker runs the program and says it teaches these inmates work ethic. They're able to go out and find jobs to support their families and become a better part of the community. It teaches us structure. I mean, a lot of people don't have a job, so they're actually learning stuff. Everything is available for the public to buy. They even take custom orders. People are sending us pictures and off Pinterest and so on and saying, can you build this? Say, of course we can. You just got to give us a little time. The program brings in more than $30,000 a year, and the sheriff's office says it's covered by inmate funds. When David finishes a project, it brings him a sense of accomplishment that's not easy to find behind bars. Makes me feel pretty good, actually, like I did that. <laughs> In Pasco County, Eric Waxler, ABC Action News.